hey guys this is joy i am back again with another video welcome welcome to my channel so today i'm going to be talking about narcissistic abuse i know usually i do my tarot readings on here and i have my narcissistic um videos on the sundays but i kind of wanted to start doing those um weekly videos again um so today is just a quick message for you guys today um i just wanted to talk about um you know you still care caring about the narcissist after they've hurt you you know some of some of us we wonder why we still care why we still have feelings for someone that hurt us so bad that betrayed us that lied to us that cheated on us you know it was very cruel so i'm here to kind of you know just share a few tips with you as to why that's happening and again my heat is turning on so you guys might hear the heat <laughs> um so one of the reasons is because it's a normal thing. You love the narcissist, you know, as crazy as that sounds, you love them. Um, and when you're around somebody, you're spending time with them, you know, you get memory, excuse me, you gain memories, you gain, you know, what is this? Oh, I didn't realize I had this in my pocket. Wow. Wow, you guys, I found some extra cash in my pocket. <laughs> I didn't even know I had it. Anyway, <laughs> so um, yeah, you gain memories um, with the narcissist, and it's t it's normal to fall in love with this person. Um, the narcissist, unfortunately, is not falling in love with you. They are pretending. A lot of you guys know that they're pretending to fall in love. Um, they are just acting. They're really good actors. A lot of you guys know this. Um, they know how to act as if you know they're in love as well my green smoothie so good um but yeah it's normal um to fall in love with people we fall in love with kids we fall in love with pets you know the more we spend time with them we do things together we build a connection we build a rapport and you just want to be around that person you want to love them you want to spend time with them you know now um understanding you know you're gonna still care about somebody that's hurt you it's it's understandable but it's gonna take time to get over it's gonna take time to heal um take time to recover to let go of the memories to let go of the time the energy the effort that you put into the relationship or you know but the thing about it the narcissist they really make sure that they go out of your way um and they have you do mainly the work you know because the narcissist knows you know that you're gonna fall in love with them they know that you know calling you and texting you taking you out spending time with you introducing you to family and friends you're gonna fall in love and they're making sure that you're doing all of that for the most part because they know they're gonna get attached but that's the thing the narcissist doesn't get emotionally attached because that's that's literally the definition of love but the narcissist does not fall in love a lot of them hate love anyway they hate people they hate being happy so um most definitely um and also you know still caring about somebody that's hurt you you know the narcissist um understand that it's gonna take time to heal it's gonna take time to grieve um don't rush your healing process for sure um understand that it's gonna take a while you know don't be too hard on yourself know that yeah you might cry a lot you know um, you might talk to um, family and friends and remember you want to talk to trusted people that um, understands what you've been through because a lot of times I remember like when I went through it people judge me you know they was like oh just move on to the next person like why are you still talking to this um, guy you know that they um, was bad to you and they moved on to the next person so why are you still hung up on them it's not so easy especially being an empath if you're an intuitive person like myself very empathic very sensitive uh, very caring and loving um it's not so easy because a lot of us we really put our heart our souls and our minds into these people um we invest our energy and it could be difficult to let it go you know so i'm definitely i'm with you guys on that for sure um but yeah that's, that's really what i wanted to mention understand that it's okay you're still going to care about this person um but just what i would recommend you know slowly but surely um day by day just take time to you know try to not think about them keep busy keep active in your life you know keep going to work 
um, keep going to school, keep focusing on your children, keep focusing on yourself, what it is that you're trying to do with your life. You know, the narcissist can make it so easy for us to focus on them. You know, when we're in these relationships or we're in these connections or even in these marriages, thank goodness, I pray. I'm, well, I'm happy that I'm not married to a narcissist, but for those of you that are, you know, we get ourselves very enmeshed with them. Um, we start to focus our lives and we try to make their lives great and do everything we can to please them, to support them and be there for them. And we forget about ourselves. We forget about that we're valuable, we're worthy. We have a life, we have goals, we have dreams and things that we wanna do and accomplish. And it's not all about the narcissist, okay? So don't beat yourself up. You know, if you're still caring about the narcissist, understand it's the normal thing. Um, but you also have to remember as well is that, you know, you don't, you care about the narcissist, but you more so care about the person that you thought that they were. So it's like, you're not really in love with the narcissist. You're in love with their false persona that they showed you in the beginning, because you don't love someone that abuses you. You don't love someone that treats you bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? You love the person, you know, that gave you compliments and took you out, maybe took you on vacations and, you know, treated you good, you know, spoiled you, took you shopping or whatever. You don't love the person that calls you fat or calls you ugly, you know. So that's some of the things that we experience when we're dealing with a narcissist. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. It's going to be a really short video. Hopefully this helps. And again, I do want to mention um, my mastermind. I know you guys are like, oh, here she go again. But no, um, most definitely, I want to um, definitely introduce you guys to my mastermind. Um, it's going to be the registration ends on the 15th, but I'm more than likely going to extend it because it's going to be um, officially we're going to be having our meeting um, that Friday or Saturday um, of the March the 15th week. So make sure you register. Like I said, it is 297 to get involved. And the reason why is because, you know, it's really going to change your life. It's really going to help you to accelerate your healing. As I said before, we're not going to be rushing your healing, but we're going to be accelerating it in a way you know, to where you can change your life. You can be a healer. You can be a teacher. Just like what I do, you can do the same thing. Especially, like I said, because this is not just for people that have been abused by narcissists, but this is for people that have healed and want to step out and that want to teach other people, you know, get their own YouTube channel, get their own website and, you know, bring things out into the world where people can use and be of service. So that's what this is all about, you know, helping you to get get your clarity, get your confidence, move on with your life, be happy after the narcissist. Don't let the narcissist take control over your life. Like you deserve to heal. You know, you deserve to be happy and don't be feeling stuck. Don't feel lost anymore. Like get out of that mindset, you know, and that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to help you guys. Um, like I said, we're going to be setting goals for ourselves. We're going to be achieving them and we're going to be accelerating our healing process together as a community, as a mastermind. So join me, like I said, for two ninety seven. dollars um, You don't have to pay that right up front, but I, we could do like a, a monthly plan because this mastermind course is only going to last for a month. Like I said, I'm not sure when I'm going to come back out with it again. So you don't want to miss it. Um, send me an email, livenarkfree9 at gmail.com so I can get you registered. Only three people allowed. If you feel like you resonate with this video, join me. I'd love to have you. We can pray together, be with each other, heal, and, you know, make this world a better place. All right. So if this resonates, email me and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.